hey guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video i am finally gonna show you guys how i install my wigs while keeping full edges y'all been asking me for this video for the longest so today i finally got you before we get started make sure that if you want to grow your hair this year you are subscribed you hit that thumbs up and you click that notification bell and also check out my social medias all right guys if you're interested to see how i install this wig keep watching I know I got time, but it's time wasted I keep looking back on my past, gotta face it I can't trust my heart, but it keeps racing Running too fast, now I can't pace it Okay, so the unit I will be installing today is from Arabella Hair. It is a 26 inch straight lace front. Y'all, this is the longest hair I have ever tried and I was honestly super excited. And I love when wigs like this come with elastic bands because I usually have to sew them on myself. So this saved me so much time. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by cutting off that back piece of lace just to get that out of my way. And then we're going to move on to plucking. Okay, so I learned this is so much easier whenever you put a white paper towel under the unit. It makes everything so much easier to see. So I'm just going to slide this on the mannequin head and I'm going to pin it down with some T-pins. So I decided that I wanted a middle part for this hair and I am defining it now on the mannequin so I know not to plug anywhere near this part. That's one of the biggest mistakes I've made when customizing wigs and it leaves you with a very balding, thin part that's not cute. Now I'm just going to hot comb the hair back. This is going to help me get rid of any flyaways and just really help me to see the hairline better so I know what I'm working with. And I was really happy at how pre-plugged this unit was because it made it a lot easier for me. Okay, so I am going to part the very front of this unit where it already looks somewhat pre-plugged and this is going to be a safety net for me. I'm going to pluck this part last just to make sure that I do not make the hairline too thin and that I also have enough hair for edges. Then I'm just going to use the hot comb to make sure that the hair stays pulled forward so I don't accidentally pluck it. So the key to this is making sure you have a really good pair of tweezers. You can get them from Walmart or Target. I got mine from a gift box I got sent from a company. And the key to this is just plucking in spaces. You want to make sure that you are plucking, skip a space, plucking, skip a space, plucking, skip a space. And you want to make sure that you are not plucking in the same spot because that will definitely give you a bald spot. You also want to make sure you're not plucking in the same row, if that makes sense. Even though I haven't parted the hair again, as you can see, my tweezers are going behind the very front line of the hair. That way I don't make each row too thin, if that makes sense. And if you guys want a detailed video on this, I can definitely make one. Okay, when I said my safety net, this is what I meant. Once I pulled this back, I can tell that I definitely did not make the hair too thin. And I'm just going to lightly, and I mean lightly, pluck the front just so it matches what was behind it. And the entire time, I'm making sure I'm not plucking anywhere close to my middle part. And I'm making sure I'm going slow because this is what's going to be like the most apparent when it comes to the hairline. You want to make sure that it's not too thin. And I've gotten so much better because you can clearly see the difference between this, what it looked like before, and then what it looks like now. So much more natural. Now I am just trying on the wig just to see if everything fits. And because of the way my hairline is, you can see the sides of my edges are very low. And I also have a widow's peak, so sometimes I have to kind of adjust the lace to fit my head. So I ended up cutting the very front of the wig to push the middle of the hairline back so it would match my hairline better. And as you can see, I'm pulling it down just to make sure everything can fit over my edges and still look pretty natural. And I think I am satisfied. Okay, now when it comes to the lace, as you can see, the lace was actually pretty decent, but it was a little bit too light for me. So what I like to do instead of bleaching the knots is go in with my lace tint, and this is the Ebon Lace Tint in medium brown. And I'm just going to spray that over the lace. You want to spray it from a distance, that way it distributes itself evenly and there's not too much on there. And I'm going to blow dry it until it dries completely. And this for me has been the key to getting the lace to really melt with my skin. 
And this is just me trying it on again just to make sure it matches. And as you can see, it really does melt a lot better into my skin than before. Like, look at that match. So if you didn't know, I'm actually blind as a bat, so it was very hard to kind of see what I was doing while still filming with the camera. I don't like to wear my glasses because I get a really bad glare from my ring light. So you're going to see me take these on and off during the process. <laughs> so now, I personally like to use the Got To Be Free Spray to put my wigs on. And this is because I do not do the bald cap method, you guys. Y'all see how low my hairline is? The bald cap would have to stop right at my edges, and then literally this wig would be on my forehead. And honestly, I just feel like you can still get a natural look without doing all that, and I feel like I would just be saving myself some time. So I like to use free spray instead of wig glue. That way I can keep my edges. And I just spray it on there, and then I use my blow dryer to make it tacky, and then I add another layer just to be secure. And then once I do that, I'm going to blow dry it again. You really want it just to be tacky, nice and sticky for your wig to have a nice good hold. And then I am just going to put it on. Then I'm going to use the tail end of my comb to really press that lace down into that glue so it does not move. And y'all, look how well that's blending into my scalp. I did that. And then I'm just going to repeat this until all the lace is glued down onto my head. Now, a lot of people do ask me why I always wear wigs. And if I'm being honest, it's just because I genuinely love wigs. I love the versatility. I love how I can try on any color any texture and they are so much faster to install than for example braids or twists or whatever like that and really the key to being able to do this while still keeping your edges is again using free spray and not real wig glue but also I make sure that I shampoo my edges once a week to clean off all the glue and give myself a fresh start and I also take breaks in between and wear like headband wigs or I wear my hair in a ponytail or a bun I just really make sure that I'm focusing on caring for my edges while I do this and if you want to see how I take care of my edges I do already have a video on here and I will link it in the description box below Once everything is done, I'm going to take an edge scarf and just lay the hairline down for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then when I take it off, everything is nice and melted. Then I'm going to go ahead and take some alcohol and a cotton pad and just clean up my hairline. Because I don't want all that glue on my forehead and stuff breaking me out, y'all. Skincare routine coming soon. And I'm sorry, I went ahead and did my edges off camera, y'all. I could not see what I was doing, and I couldn't put my glasses on. But I like my edges very simple, very just straight to the point. And now, my favorite part, styling the wig. So I'm just going to brush this hair. And y'all, I did not expect this hair to be so thick. Y'all know with straight hair, like a lot of the times, it's like very, very thin, especially when it gets to the bottom. I was expecting because this hair is so long that it was going to be super thin at the ends. But it's thick from the top to the bottom. Like this is a full unit. Now I'm just going to take my wax stick from Amazon and here I am again putting on my glasses. I'm telling y'all I could not see anything. And I'm just going to apply this wax stick to near my part really on top of the hair just to make sure I don't have any flyaways. Make sure everything lays nice and flat. Then I'm going to use my hot comb to really seal that wax into the hair just to make sure everything stays nice and in place. Y'all, 
get a hot comb. I tried to avoid it for a long time, but honestly, it makes a world of a difference. It makes everything just look so much smoother and makes everything look flat and just nice and neat. So please get a hot comb if you like to wear wigs. Now I'm taking this straightening brush that was sent to me by this company on Amazon and I'm just going to use it to straighten the hair. Honestly, it's a lot faster than a straightener and it honestly worked better than I thought. If you want to see my thoughts on this, then go check out my TikTok or my Instagram. I'll be posting a video on there soon. But I'm just going to use this just to straighten the hair, y'all. This hair is long. When I tell you it went all the way like past my butt, I, I was just like, I don't know how I'm going to rock this. And I almost forgot, I know you guys have been asking on a video of how I prep my hair under my wigs. It's already filmed, I'm working on it, so that will be up shortly, so make sure you're subscribed. Then finally, I'm going to take this makeup brush and I'm going to spray some of the lace tint on there. Sorry y'all if it's blurred and I'm just going to put this on my part to blend everything in and just kind of make my wig cap look seamless with the part because you can kind of see it through. And then I'm going to take another brush and just do the same thing but on my actual hairline. Alright guys, well that is it. That's the whole install. It's a super easy process. I still got my edges and my hair looks good. If you have any questions, as always, you can definitely leave it in the comments. But y'all, look how long this hair is. That is crazy. Make sure you are subscribed. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and click that notification bell. And also check out my social media as well as my website because my hair butter should be restocked by the time this is up. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!